Hey guys, welcome to Internet News Episode 2. Remember that series I made one episode of around 9 or 10 months ago and then just didn't carry on with it because I procrastinated too much? I should make a video on procrastination. I'll do it tomorrow. First story I want to bring up is this. Apparently, a mother at a school in America had sewn a varsity letter onto a boy's jacket when he wasn't at varsity level. Obviously, I'm sure many of you will be sat there thinking, that's fair enough. I mean, you wouldn't give a school football shirt to someone who's not on the school football team. And you would be correct. The reason this is being turned into a story is because the kid has Down Syndrome. I am someone who has a dark sense of humour, and I will admit that happily, but I will never make jokes about something someone has no control over. So I won't make homophobic jokes, racial jokes, anything about people that are disabled. And that's not me trying to pretend that I'm a good guy. I mean, if you do any of those things, then you're a prick. My point is, people have fought for hundreds of years for equal rights for all sorts of different things, but how come when we've got to this point in our life cycle as a species, the media still feel that they have to add on the word disabled to describe someone? It's literally just defining someone by what limits them. It also immediately makes the public's opinion biased in the favour of the disabled person. If you strip away the fine print, the story here is essentially a boy who was not at varsity level had a mother who sewed on a varsity letter onto his jacket and the principal wanted it removed because he wasn't at varsity level. As soon as the disabled part is mentioned, everyone thinks it's a huge disservice. I think too often we as a public feel we have to compensate for someone that's disabled because this situation, which would be completely understandable for someone who is able-bodied, Suddenly we feel like we should be letting this person off because they've made a point of saying he's disabled. A varsity letter is in no way related to this kid's disability. The people are acting as if the principal has asked for his lung to be removed. <coughs> is this the mythical lizard man of South Carolina? New picture could solve mystery that spanned 25 years. No, it, it's not. <coughs> The third story I wanted to bring up is this rock formation. No, not that rock formation. This rock formation in Wales has recently been downgraded to a hill because it was remeasured and told it wasn't big enough. Well, we've all been there. It was originally measured to be around 15.9 meters, but upon remeasuring, it was found to only be around 14.7 meters. But in its defence, it was a cold day. My final story is unfortunately a very depressing one for humanity. It's starting to become a trend to give dogs man buns. Hipster dogs with man bun hairstyles is the latest pet fashion trend. We had a good run, we had a good run, we invented some cool things, but let's just end our lives now and let nature take its course. This is not a happy dog. The thing is, if a guy wants to have his hair in a man bun, fine. If you want to look ridiculous, then it's your choice. But don't force it upon a dog. Its owner already has one. It's embarrassed enough. So this is the start of my Don't Be A Dick segment, which is a segment where I will be speaking a message directly to a personal group that is directly involved with the new story I've brought up. So this is a message to anyone who has given their dog a man bun, or is intending to give their dog a man bun. That dog loves you. That dog gets excited when you get home from work. That dog gets excited when you come back from the toilet. And that's how you acknowledge it? By styling its hair so it looks like a frayed and worn child's toy? You are doing something that dog does not have a choice about. And if you think that's okay for you because you're the dog's owner, then that means that maybe you need to loosen your hair tie a little bit because it's clearly too tight and it's restricting the blood flow to your already miniature brain. So to sum up, don't be a dick. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm considering making this a weekly or fortnightly thing, so leave me a like down below so that I know whether you want more or not. Also, on the off chance that any of my tiny audience are going to be at Summer in the City this year, I also will be there. I'm going to be there with Mr. Comedy Sam and Logan James. Um, 
along with a bunch of other people. So yeah, if you see me or Sam, you'll notice his ginger hair, then you should definitely come and hang out with us. If you want to see my next video when it's uploaded, then you can click the subscribe thing that's over here. Or if you want to see my last video, then you can click the thing that's over here. Also, comment down below whether you agreed with my opinions, and if not, why not? See you next week with what will probably be my day one vlog from Summer in the City.